what we want to do is to rename all of the objects in both of these two chain hierarchies. And at the moment, I've uh, branch selected both hierarchies, so I only have two objects, albeit hierarchies selected. I want to deconstruct that hierarchy down into individual multiple selections. And an easy way to do that in XSI is to use the Select Select Child Nodes tool. Uh, from a branch selection, it will deconstruct it into the individual objects. And you can see that that translates into 49 um, chain objects. Now the rename tool that we need to use is a script. And if I open up the browser and I access the scripts folder of the training project, you can see that I've got a renaming uh, .vbs tool. And if I actually edit that, you can see that it's a, a little script that was um, built by a guy named Viren Van, Van Katraman. Sorry if I got that incorrectly from BFS. And it's a simple just replace uh, script where you type in a word to search for, uh, or a string, or a string of characters within a word, and then enter a word to replace those characters with. So if I take those, and I copy them, I can just open up my script editor and paste in there. And I'll select the contents. I'm not going to assign a hotkey to this, because I'm not going to use this tool very often. I'm just going to drag and drop it up onto my skeleton toolbar. And I'm going to make a scripted button from that. So again, the script is actually stored inside of the button. And I'm going to call this my, my renamer tool. So there it is there. I can close down the script editor, close down the browser. And I'm going to hit F inside of my Explorer just so you can get an appreciation for how this works. If I uh, right click on the pelvis root and I expand all from here, uh, you can see here are the objects that I have mirrored. Uh, there's a couple more down there for the legs as well, but we'll focus on this part of the hierarchy. So with all 49 objects picked, I'm going to run the renamer tool, which asks me to search for a word or character. So I'm going to look for the word left on this side. I'm going to press OK. And I'm going to replace it with the word right. And at the same time, I want to search for this character, one, that's uh, appended to the end of the description. And I want to just strip it off, so I'm going to replace it with nothing. So again, a very quick way of just going through and renaming a lot of objects on mass. So I can zip up everything in my Explorer again. Let's do a collapse all. And now that I've pretty much finished this skeleton, I'm going to want to package all of the different parts that I've built now. Luckily, everything's parented underneath this pelvis root, so I can just drag and drop the pelvis root under my model packaging. And these groups here that represent the, uh, the objects, uh, the, the different chain objects, I'm also going to drag and drop them into my model. And again, the nice thing about the model is it's the only object type in XSI that can accept groups as children, nulls or any other object like that. In fact, if I just grab a null, you can't actually drag groups underneath it. So again, models uh, show you how useful they can be for little things like this. I'll close up that Mulcor model.